Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have a quick tutorial about replacing your logos in multiple designs. So, uh, for example, this is um, a design that I recently created, and it has, as you can see, a slide and my logo. Now, I have more logos in this design. I have different pages. And um, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I have added the same logo in all of these slides. And that's just one design. And sometimes people may have multiple designs with their logos, and it's possible that um, they go through some kind of rebranding or something where they change their logo, how they look, etc., etc. And there is a quick way to replace all of them. So for example, if you have created templates and designs for your brand, um, whether it's a blog, small business, whatever, and you want to quickly replace um, these logos across multiple designs and multiple pages in multiple designs, then um, this method will be useful to you because instead of having to do them manually, you can quickly replace your old logo with just a couple of clicks. Now, it does come with some limitations, and I will talk about them as I go. So, um, first things first, let's see how to replace the logo. To do that, you have to be on Canva Pro because um, this is, uh, you have to have a brand set up if you want to change your logo across multiple designs. So, um, for example, if you have Canva Pro, you can create brands. When you come to Canva Pro, on the left panel, if you click brand, you come here, and as you can see, I have two different brands set up, and you can have multiple brands um, if you have Canva Pro. All you have to do is click add new, and then go through the um, prompts and the process. If you need help with that, I will link to a video below uh, in the descriptions where I have already created a video about how to make or how to set up brands. Anyway, so when you set up a brand, uh, this is what it looks like. So this is one of my, my main brand, the site blogger, obviously. And as you can see, under brands, you have logo section, color palettes, fonts, um, brand voice, photos, icons, etc., etc., that you can set up for quick access. Um, just to see what it looks like, if I create uh, or open another Canva tab, and create a design. Just any design would do for now, doesn't matter. In order for your replaced logo uh, to work, when you set up a logo, ideally uh, for this to work, you would have to add the logo from your brand uh, tab. So when you're working in a design, in the design window, go to brand tab on the left panel that opens up um, your brand. And if you have multiple brands set up, you can just click the brand name that will um, allow you to choose another brand if you so wish to. But in any case, um, in order for this to work, you can click see all um, next to logos. And I have four different logos, so I will choose this one because I've decided to work with this one today. So this is how the whole brand thing works. If you have a brand, you have access to your brand elements, including your logos really quickly from the brand tab on your left panel. So that's nice, right? Um, let's give it a name, test design, and that's it. So now we have like multiple designs um, that has, um, that have multiple designs that have the same logo that we're going to work with today. All right, so let's go back to Canva dashboard and let's say that you have decided that you changed your logo and you want to change, um, maybe you tweaked your logo and uh, it need, the old logo needs to be replaced with a new logo. So what you do is go to, you go to brand, the brand tab from the dashboard, and then you click your brand name to go to that, um, brands elements and then under logos you um, find the logo that you want to replace and for us it's this one the last one 
you can't really see it because it's tiny <laughs> but if I zoom in maybe you see it a little better but still kind of different difficult to see but if you remember it was the white logo the white version uh, so not none of the first three the last one anyway so when you want to replace that click the three dots hover over it until the three dots appear then click the three dots and then click replace across designs and that will prompt you to choose the you know the designs where this logo appears um, it turns out that this logo appears in 10 designs so you can select all 10 or um, by, you can select all 10 by clicking select all or you can deselect the select all and you can actually go and choose um, them separately so let's say that these two are the only ones where I want to change the logo or replace the logo I don't want any of the other designs so click continue once you have selected the designs where you want to replace your logo and now see what happens it gives me the option to upload a new logo so you click choose file and that will take me to a folder you can you know, this is coming up with the folder where I have saved all of my logos but if that's not the case obviously you can choose a different logo or choose a different folder from your computer but in my case it opened up to exactly the right folder that I needed to open up to and then I choose your logo now let's say that I want to replace the old logo with this version the first one or maybe a different one maybe let's say this one and then click open but before I do that I want to point out that this will show you one of the um, you know uh, limitations that I was talking about and this is what I mean by limitation when I choose a logo and I click open this is what happens it gives me a warning that the image doesn't have the same aspect ratio as the image you're replacing try again with a different file so for the easy you know couple of clicks replacement of your logo only works if your old logo and your new new logo both have exactly the same dimensions um, or the aspect ratio anyway if they're not the same aspect ratio then it's not going to work so if you redesign your logo and it's slightly wider or maybe not wider maybe skinnier or a little um, longer vertically or shorter or whatever if it's not the same aspect ratio it's simply not going to work so remember that when you are um, trying to use this feature if it doesn't work then you know you have you always have the option to go and manually um, change your logo one at a time which is obviously time consuming and annoying that's why we're doing this in the first place however if it does have the same aspect ratio then it is actually pretty simple you click choose file um, you click the logo that you want in this case I'm simply um, replacing it replacing my white logo with a black logo um, Oh, it still doesn't have the same aspect ratio. Interesting. So maybe um, it's this one. Okay, that worked. So when you have, uh, you know, um, downloaded or uploaded the logo, um, as you can see, you can't really do anything. So you have to select it. So click it to select it. And then the preview button becomes clickable are active so click it and then it kind of shows you you know what the designs would look like with the new um, logo added to it and when you uh, when you like how things look click replace in two designs and simply wait for it to replace your designs and as you can see uh, it successfully replaced the image so now if I go back to my dashboard and then I click one of the designs where I just replaced um, the design uh, remember it used to be a lighter logo a light version of the logo white um, but now it has been replaced with the black logo that I just chose that I just selected and that's it it's pretty simple um, 
So just to recap a little, if you want to, if you have a logo, if you have a brand set up, and once again, you can only set up brands if you are on Canva Pro. Um, if you go to your brand, um, you have your brand set up and you have been using your logos using the brand's element and you choose your, uh, you choose to redo your logo, maybe redesign your logo, whether you have had a brand revamp or whatever. Um, now you need to change all of your logos across multiple designs. If you have done it with your, done it through your brand um, elements, then it's really easy. Simply go to brand from your dashboard, open up the brand, uh, the specific brand that you're working with, and then click the logo uh, or hover over the logo that needs to be switched. Click the three dots, click replace ac across designs, and then simply follow the prompts. You can select all of your designs where you have previously used the logo, or you can select only a few um, and follow the prompts. And just remember that you can only do it if both logos have exactly the same aspect ratio. If not, it's not going to work and you have to do the whole thing manually. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's quick tutorial and I will be back with something new and different soon. Bye!